morning. Guys, we are on a kind of a special shed hunt today. We are on a moose shed hunt and this is the shed hunt giveaway. So I'm with Dave who's behind me now. I just had to find a quiet spot. As you can uh, kind of hear, it's gonna be very windy, unfortunately. So I don't know how the video is gonna play out audio wise. I just wanted to throw that out there. But we're on the shed hunt giveaway. Join us, it's gonna be fun. I think we have a good chance of finding something. Here's a kind of a look at what we're dealing with. We've got these benches of super thick quakies. Then they come into these valleys of uh, willows and, and brush like this. That the moose seem to uh, like to hang out in. We are into the moose country. Willows. Muck. This is where the moose are, no doubt. Dave's got the first find of the trip. Look at that. It's pretty neat. What's that, a couple year old? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he's got some bones right here. Oh, there's his jaw. Huh. It's looking good, looking good through here. Just gonna beat beat all this brush now. Here we are with the first paddle of the trip. Looks brown. Look at that tracker. Just a little guy, but he's he's busted off up there at top, you can see. I'm laying there with a little poop right on him. Right next to a beaver pond. Just kind of walking these these trails out as they zig and zag through these willows. Icebreaker. That's sweet. There it is. Got some blood still on the back of the paddle. Good little shed to start the day. Always nice to know you're not skunked. Tines down. Tines up, huh? So it weathered away more on the back side than the, the palm. The palm stayed pretty hard, huh? It was just laying in a spot just like this. You know, right out in the open. Yeah. Fun, but. No, that's a solid find though. Good bowl. Getting about to the top of the willows. And then it turns into more of a base and a pie. But the moose seem to be hanging out right in all of this stuff. That's always the goal when you can find mounds and mounds of moose poop. That usually means that they spend a lot of time somewhere. If they spend a lot of time somewhere, that's their best chance of shedding somewhere. Kind of interesting. <laughs> it's like a frozen river on this dry ground right here.
Uh, here we are for day day two, last day. Looks good, we've already seen about 10 bull elk, um, and then a handful of moose walking around. It's gonna be the same type of terrain, walking these, these uh, this creek bottom, pretty thick stuff, but between the two of us gritting and looking at our our maps, we should be able to cover quite a bit of it. And if there's something in here, we'll find it. Gators and trekking poles are a must in this stuff. It's so thick, everything's trying to poke at you. And then you got these uneven clots of dirt. But see what I mean? There's quite a bit of moisture here on the in the ground. But it looks epic for antlers. Ah, oh, time for a little break. Pop open the XO and grab some snacks. It's tough to tell, like we're coming into this stuff late. You know, moose are dropping from November to February. Here we are in May, uh, hitting this spot and it's hard to tell where bulls were. Were they higher, were they lower? Uh, can't go off of poop or tracks really. So it's just kind of go where the best sign is. I think we have more in the right general area. We just gotta hit that right pocket. Finally, I've spotted the first shed of the day. Doesn't look all that big, but it's a moose antler. Check it out. Old one. Decent size, I mean, mid size, but he's chalk. Oh, he's wedged in there pretty good. Whoa, look at all the ants on that side. Heck yeah. Just about the size where anything bigger than that, you'd be like, that's a really big antler. I mean, stud for sure. Let's go find some more, buddy. Get strapped on the pack. It actually fits pretty nice right there on that XO. That's a pretty good paddle right there, actually. Wow. But he was like laying right on a bush. Really? Like where we crossed the bridge. Uh-huh. Um, where all those logs were kind of lined up. I just walked around the corner and was... He kind of has that weird... kind of... Yeah, way dished out in there. Look at that. It's a sweet wool. Yeah, a lot of character. How it, how it has that groove right there. Channeled out. A little brown. Yeah. Big chalk and a big brown. That's not bad for seven miles. Right, middle of the day now. Had a quick lunch break after we met up. And uh, we moved spots, hopped on the back goose, and cruised to another area. I'll tell you what, they those bikes have changed the game. Uh, like we were able to hit multiple spots in a day. Like feel like we gridded out an area enough, we can move to another spot and still have time to hike. I do have a code if you are interested in those bikes, if you've been looking at them. Uh, Chag, it's gonna save you $300 on your bike. Uh, not Not a ton, but hey, it's something. A uh, couple days at work there, uh, saved by using that code. So again, code CHAG. And as always, in the description box, you can catch all of my discount codes, all the partners that I have, um, and go support them. Get yourself some some solid gear. We're in a good spot. Another tight, tight draw. Tons of moose sign. Can we take the right line? Is the question. Little tracker's got himself a hanger elk. What is it, bud? Good job. Just a little tiny raghorn. They're coming down this trail here. And tracker ran up and started sniffing this bush, and I could see just the little beam. <laughs> Looks like last year's. Little 
guy. What do we got right over Tracker's head? Brown moose shed. Heck yeah, guys. Doesn't look giant. Right in this creek bottom. Barely was saved from going down into the water. I think it's a brown. It could be a last year's. Looks brown though. Nice, bud. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, that's this year's. Good little bull. He's got like a two, almost a three up front. You can tell on that back side, it's still brown. I'm going white right here. It's a nice average size bull. Maybe the other side's laying around. Don't get your hopes up in this country for matching antlers up. See that base, you can see it's nice and fresh looking. You can tell it's this year's, even though a little cracked there. These antlers have been on the ground for, you know, five, six months. So they've had the time to get a little weathered on that the sunny side. Well, this came pretty quick after finding that moose shed. Uh, we got an elk shed that is buried in time. It'll probably fall apart as I go to pull it out of here. Honestly, it's so old and chalky. Look at that. Pretty, eh, not too big. Has a decent third and second, but broken after his royal and he had a pretty short royal it looks like. Huh. I'll do a uh, shed crazy. Shed crazy to be proud of me here. Do a little chuck and duck back to the bike. Got the little deer or the little elk shed, the brown moose, and then the bigger chalk from earlier. It's a little after three now, so I don't know if we're really gonna get out for another another hike. There might be one other spot we could check, but we'll wait up. Dave should be down in a minute. Uh, We'll see what we want to do, but that could be it. Pretty good day if it is, but uh, could be some more. We'll check back in. All right, guys, it's a new morning, and uh, we're not headed out to shed hunt, though. I'm headed home. This is the haul for the trip. A um, couple decent-sized bulls. This one here and here is probably the bigger end. This is a brown. Dave found that one last yesterday. You can see there's still brown color. Just barely hanging on, but being this late in the year for us headed, headed out there, uh, they're starting to starting to bleach out. Older one, a couple of small brown elk, elk sheds. That was my first one for moose. And then found this guy yesterday. Still dark on this side, but uh, bleaching out here. We're gonna load up and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, share, all of that stuff helps. Shagoutdoors.com if you wanna support and we'll see you on the next video.